hey, I want to ask you this question today. Are you still looking into your rearview mirror, looking into your past, looking at where you come from, looking at your experiences, looking at all the different things that you once upon a time had as part and parcel of your life, and you're constantly looking at it instead of moving forward. When you look at the children of Israel, they were constantly complaining and grumbling. And one of the things they said was this, we were better off in Egypt, and here you brought us Moses, and we're gonna die in this desert. And they were constantly grumbling and complaining and murmuring. And they were saying, we, we, we better turn back and go back to Egypt. They were constantly saying this. They were constantly trying to get back. Because Moses was trying to lead them out of bondage, out of slavery in Egypt and moving and taking them towards the promised land. But the problem was they were constantly looking back. I don't know who I'm talking to, but you're constantly looking back to where God just delivered you from. Because that was a place of bondage. That was not the best that God had for you. God had something better, a land flowing with milk and honey. But there is going to be a transition period from bondage to freedom, a transition period from being in Egypt to the promised land. And some people are just not okay with the transition because transition can never be easy. Change is never comfortable. I don't know who I'm talking to, but some of you are still looking back and seeing if there's any way you can go back to where you came from, go back to those familiar places, go back to the comfort zones, even though you f know fully well that you were crying and gripping and complaining and you were in a very bad spot while you were a slave, while you were in that old school of thought, while you were in that whole season of your life, but you still want to go back. I want you to understand something here. The children of Israel were moving towards the promised land. And here's the thing I want you to know that God parted the Red Sea so that they could cross through on dry ground. And you have to remember, they go to the other side and the Red Sea closed. And what I want you to know is the Red Sea parted only for them to go towards their promised land. Now, even if they look back, the Red Sea is not going to part again. They can look back and see, oh my gosh, that's Egypt. That's where I came from. But no matter what I do, I can't go back because the Red Sea is not going to part again. You're still looking back at Egypt, but I want you to know your Red Sea is not going to part again. You're still looking back at that relationship that God delivered you from. But I want you to understand that Red Sea is not going to part again. You're still looking back at that job opportunity that you lost, but I'm here to tell you that Red Sea is not going to part again. I want you to understand it's time for you to stop looking back at Egypt because your Red Sea is not going to part again. God parted the Red Sea to deliver you from that place. It's time for you to stop looking back at Egypt and start moving forward towards your promised land. I don't know who needs to hear this word. It's time for you to arise and say, you know what, enough is enough. I'm not going to still sit and crib about what I lost. I'm not going to still sit and crib about where I came from, the past season of my life. I'm going to move forward towards the new things that God has for me. I want you to understand that when you take one step at a time and move towards your promised land, the land flowing with milk and honey, I believe and declare with every passing minute, with every step that you take, you are getting one step closer towards your divine destiny, the ultimate plan and purpose that God has for you, the land flowing with milk and honey, your promised land is about to appear in your life. There's no point in you looking back, guys. You know, you might have heard this illustration so many times in your life. If you look at a windshield in an automobile, it's big, but the rear view mirror is small because the rear view mirror is only to give you an idea of where you came from. It's not supposed to be the ultimate guiding factor for you. Whatever happened, happened. Don't allow that to dictate the rest of your life. Don't keep looking back. Move forward. And I'm sure that you'll be amazed by where God is leading you. God, I pray for those who are watching, listening around the world, that they will be blessed by this word and encouraged to stop looking back at Egypt, knowing that the Red Sea is not going to part again. It's time for them to move forward 
into the new wonderful things that you have in store for them. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. Hey, I hope you were blessed by this video and I really encourage you to subscribe to this channel to get more such content which will bless you, edify you and help you live the life that God has for you as well. I also encourage you to check out my daily podcast, Fuel for the Soul with John Gifta. By the grace of God, it's been trending across the globe, making an impact for the kingdom of God. To check out my books, especially my latest one, Unveil Your Purpose, which became a number one new release on Amazon. To stay plugged in through a social media for regular inspirations on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter. To check out the weekly podcast where my messages get dubbed into Tamil. You can get more details at www.johngifter.com. And also, if you have been blessed by this ministry and you would like more people to be blessed by the ministry. I encourage you to support us financially. If you're in India, you can support us through Google Pay or net banking. Or if you're anywhere around the world, you can support us through PayPal. And all the details are in the description. And I hope you were blessed and you would stay plugged in. And I will see you back next time. God bless you.